is Vijayalakshmi. My elder daughter is uh, Bhuvaneshwari. She is a special child. My name is Dipali. My son's name is Akhil. He's studying in Bethany since past three years now. My name is Priya. My daughter Netra, Sai Netra, has been studying here in Bethany for the past four years. I'm Devlina Das. We're basically from Calcutta. My son Tuan Aritro Das, he's been studying in the school for the last one year. Pastor Society is born up, Dr. Madhavi is born she is a normal child. She was a blue baby when she was born and she had to undergo an open heart surgery and she had a chromosomal abnormality also. He was uh, diagnosed with ADHD at the beginning but later on we came to know that it is just a learning disability that he has got and it is not ADHD. We went to a doctor, we found out that he was diagnosed with CAPD, it's a central auditory processing disorder which is basically a language disorder as I was told. For 10 minutes I was shocked. 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 I can't predict what a day will be like because when I come here in the morning I don't know what to expect but before I come I pray and say Lord help me to face whatever the day has to bring. The special school was started because we found that in Bangalore there are not too many schools like this. It slowly mushroomed from a small little setup in our regular school to what we have now. And then we found that when they, when they reach the age of 17 and 18, there's no special college for them. And that's why the sheltered workshop was started. And um, we have children who do weaving now. We have looms and we have the bakery and an envelope making machine so that we can give them something to do and a little stipend so that they can hold their heads up high in society. Peace Therapist of Bethany Special School. Uh, this is Bhuvaneshwari and she is a child who communicates non-verbally. She communicates only through, uh, through actions, gestures and uh, her residual speech or whatever she can speak. Amma? Amma? Appa? How do you say Appa? Appa? Sleep? See, I don't look at them as though they are special. I treat them as I would treat any child. I talk to them as I would talk to any child. They are very much like us. They want to be accepted. They are competitive amongst themselves. They are ambitious, I would say. Uh, there was this uh, one little boy who kept asking me, uh, why do we have to study? Can't I become rich like Bill Gates without study, studying in college? Each child over there are at their own levels of, of uh, learning and they have their, their limited capability and therefore every single teacher has to be trained and each child has something called an IEP and they are taught at their own uh, speed. Uh, they keep forgetting like when you teach something new and if there is a long gap they forget then again you have to go from scratch and teach them again. They, they get attached to people very easily whether it is uh, the, the helpers or the uh, teacher in the class or whether it is uh, uh, the, the principal or the vice principal of the school. No, no, what, what is your real name? Tell them your real name. What is this? This old cat written me. Yeah. Do what it's with. No, your real name is Arithro Das. Oh, you can say that. You can say that. Arithro Das. Okay. But this is a cat. I have a class of eight or eight boys. Um, all of them are autistic. Uh, Tuan is a child who lives in an imaginary world and in this world. So he beautifully blends uh, our world with the imaginary world. Yeah. 
Maybe it's hydrocephalic. Um, probably this uh, happened because of some infection during the pregnancy. I studied in Vision School for 10 years, then I went, went to a vocational skill training center for uh, five years, then I've come back here. Now this is my eight, um, eighth year actually. He loves to learn. It's uh, anything given to him, he wants to do it perfectly. So he feels guilty if something is not done perfectly.